Hey folks, your OS Reviews. You're watching our video first look and a quick review of the Kobo Fingerprint USB Scanner. This is a tiny little fingerprint module that you can attach onto any USB computer running on Windows 8, 8.1, or 10, and then automatically use by tapping once to log in for quick security and quick access without having to remember long passwords. And so it really adds this nice fingerprint feature into lower cost uh, ultra portables or laptops uh, that might lack a integrated fingerprint scanner. I don't I don't think it will work with Android. You might have to find your own software, but it is guaranteed to work with Windows um, right out of the packaging. You can find this for under $22, which is fairly inexpensive for something that's uh, really so small and uh, quite useful for people who want enhanced security and also ease of use. You can see that's a capacitive touch. It's just like any modern fingerprint scanner on 2017 smartphones, so you can Put your finger in any orientation and it will unlock with an accuracy of 99.99%. Uh, and there's a smart learning as well that works pretty well. It's fairly sturdy as well and uh, extremely lightweight. You can just leave it on there when you're traveling and moving your laptop. So this is it. This is as small as, as it gets. Pretty similar to a nano receiver you might find on a wireless mouse or other wireless accessories. There's a quick instruction guide in the packaging and that's it. So for Windows 10 users, you're in luck since it's extremely simple. Just go into settings, choose accounts, sign in options, and choose pin code. Afterwards, click on the fingerprint setting and then you will progress and just basically set things up very quickly um, and uh, be able to use it almost immediately. It seems like Windows has a default feature for fingerprint uh, unlocking that is now incorporated into the operating system which makes this process really easy and no third-party drivers or software is really needed. So let's do a quick demo to see how it unlocks. I can just tap my finger on it and then you can see it says hello and unlocks almost instantly. So it's extremely swift and fast and I can use even a different orientation of my thumb and uh, it will still work. You can add multiple thumbs or fingers onto the sensor as well. So I'm going to use my thumb this time on it at a different angle and you can see that it will still recognize it and it's extremely swift. Just takes about a one second to completely unlocked and it's not very obtrusive either, although there is going to be an LED light that seems to be blinking all the time when it's inserted into power. Um, the setup for the first time isn't quite as easy as I wish it could be. Although Windows 10 supports this feature out of the box, you do need to do a little bit of digging. Essentially, you, you tap on the settings and you bring up the keyboard and then you tap on fingerprint. So it says set up fingerprint sign in. And for most people, when they log in here for the first time, they're not going to be able to see the screen. What's going to happen is you have to sign in with a pen, so you have to create a pen if you don't have a pen. Afterwards, once you insert the USB thumb drive, it's going to automatically try to find some updates, and it's most likely going to require you to restart your computer. Once you restart it and launch the settings again, you'll see something new, which is this part. And it says, Windows Hello. Sign into Windows apps and services by teaching Windows to recognize you. So Windows Hello includes things like fingerprint, it includes biometric um, biometrics in addition to facial recognition, so using the camera lens to scan your face, things like that are all classified as Windows Hello uh, compatible. So in this sense, after I've uh, kind of plugged this in and restarted the computer, you can see that it's recognized that fingerprint is an option now. But it's not going to work right away. When you first plug it in, it's not going to work. Um, sometimes you may even have to install a driver, and um, there are a few links that are locatable. If you just search up the brand name of the device, you'll find some drivers online. So in this case, it says fingerprint. I can also show you guys how to add another finger. So let's get started. Make sure it's you. So I'm going to rest my finger on the sensor here and then I'm going to try a different finger now, maybe my index finger. So I'm going to try and pop it onto the sensor. Great touch the sensor again. It's going to try to collect uh, you know, a lot of data about you. So trying to um, get multiple angles of your finger. So uh, to get a more accurate read no matter where you, know, you are uh, and you know, where, what part of your finger you're trying to use to sign in, it will try and uh, operate that. So next, try a different angle. I'm going to use the index finger now at this kind of vertical angle. All right, and now we're done. So when the PC wakes up from sleep, so let's try the index finger that I just added. 
and indeed it unlocks it just like that. So very easy to set up multiple fingers or you can add multiple people to all be able to access you know, one device. If the sign in using the fingerprint fails, you can revert back to using the pen automatically on screen. So it does add a higher layer of security since biometrics are you know, individual and unique to each person. Um, and you can also set up a pen or a password you know, in, in case one of this option uh, fails. You can also of course detach it and then it will automatically go back to the password um, like before. For. And you can also use this on multiple devices. So I can pop this into another tablet or onto another laptop and then set it up there for you know security across multiple platforms and multiple computers. All in all, I found the Kobo fingerprint scanner to be an extremely accurate and easy way to unlock your computer. I think it's something that will help a lot of people. And at this super low price point, it's something that many folks can pick up, especially as a gift or even for the holiday season. It makes a lot of sense to add this fingerprint support that's super easy to unlock your machine at the click of, um, of a touch. Um, and it's really well implemented and I had no complaints as far as accuracy and uh, error rates when I was doing a bit of testing earlier. So really impressed with both the Build as well as the performance of this. Um, so if you are looking for a fingerprint scanner, this is actually one of the smallest that I've personally seen. I know that about a decade ago, they started trying to, trying to make some USB-based uh, fingerprint scanners, um, or Microsoft did, but those were very chunky and big. They were this big, and you have to pop it onto your desk, and it wasn't very convenient if you're trying to move your computer around, and you also had to put your finger in one position. But now this gives you a ton of freedom in terms of multiple angles can be read, and it's so tiny and small. Uh, that it makes just, I think, a lot of sense. So you can check out more details about this in our official written review, but for now, this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This has been the Kobo Macro USB Base Fingerprint Reader.